Okay, guys, I think... I think we're up and running, right? Yes, maybe. Yeah, shows me live, but not in the algo. What's up, Sam? Hey, Mackie. What's up, guys? Welcome me into the stream. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Mac. Appreciate the share, my dude. Mr. Blast is actually on time. Oh my god! I don't know. Do you guys want... Do you guys think the chat widget should stay up on the stream, or should I not have it up? I always forget to take it down because I use it for the sub stream. I don't know. Sam, Mackie, Ruben, Steve, Kyle, Drew. What's going on, guys? What do you guys think? Should I leave it up there? I'm afraid that someone's just going to start, like, you know, abusing the chat and then showing all the comments popping up. I don't know if I should have it up there. <clears throat> I can only trust my subscribers. <laughs> What's up, Brendan? Hello, my queen. Are you almost home? Cat, stay up. I can use the Ruvipedia reply, like saying stuff. Yes, that is it right there, Drew. That's it right there. Always playing with something blue, man. What can I say? I can't help it. Hey, Kyle. Thank you for the likes, my dude. Are you on to early today? Uh, If you count like four minutes. Yeah. What's up, John? X this, sir, this is not X3. So you're in luck. What's up, Phil? Arcadio, what's up, buddy? How are you? Uh, I almost got hit right there. I've been hitting the first damn bad guy. The only time you ever fight that guy when he's in half. It's just weird. Ugh. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Marie. Thank you for the likes. Needs more plasma scythe. Mega Man X sub squared. Yes. Hola, gracias. Thank you, Drew, for the like. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Say hello in the chat. Let me know. Where do you hail from today? I don't ask that very often. I forget where everybody's from, so... Facebook knows where you're from. I don't know where you guys are from, so... <clears throat> you ever time yourself in any of the X games? I have not. I have not. Thank you, Phil, for the like. Nick, what's up, my dude? Welcome into the stream. My bad, X2. There's nothing wrong with X2, is there, sir? I hope not. I hope not. Ah, shizzes. Thank you, Tom, for the like. So my new thing is because I actually have a oh Jesus what am I doing? So I have a schedule that's up in the dashboard. I try to be on at least five minutes before my scheduled time. What's up, Carlos? Hail, I guess from the clouds. Duval County, Adam, you know this. Oh, Duval County. Oh, Duval County. Oh, Duval County. <laughs> so I should have had my microphone thingy show up already, but Amazon is late. I guess they have a lot of stops today. Hopefully the Amazon guy doesn't just throw the box at my front door. Because that would suck. I don't know. Never ever timed myself in any of these games. I don't know, it's... I'm not a huge fan of, um... Speed runs on streams. I don't know. What's up, Anthony? How's it going, dude? I don't like timing myself on streams because then I have to concentrate on the game more than the chat. So, no more hail, please. Yeah, you guys don't need it anymore. Uh, we haven't had any here in a while. So, what's up, Justin? I guess one day I could do that. What's up, Austin? X2 is good. You got my boy, Snail. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. So I have a good volume ratio, too, guys, because uh, it's the MSU1 music mod. It's not the uh, the regular old Super Pretendo version of it. Join the warm weather in Kansas. Really? It was a hot one today, man. The dogs were driving me nuts. They wanted to go out, and I'm like, guys, it's too hot to be out here playing around in the sun. They're old, so it's just not good for them to be out in this heat. So I had to pick them up and bring them back to the house because they were just like, yo, it's way too hot to be walking. So volume's perfect. After tomorrow, your boy is on summer vacay. What's up, Kashan? Fire Sponge says, get over here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Aha, see? This guy takes a lot of hits for him being such a small enemy. 
they just puppies. Oh, I wish they were puppies again, man. I got 86 things left in my Xbox Q to download. Holy shiz, man. That's a lot of stuff. Madison County, Tennessee. I downloaded two games today on Steam. I'm debating on another game, but I'm not really sure because I don't think I can play the game with anyone else that's a subscriber or not. Because not many of you guys have gaming PCs and it's really hard to plan stuff with some people, so... So I bought Guardians of the Galaxy on PC today. Because it's on sale for $17.99. What's up, Simon? It's in that storage drive. Yeah, 8 terabytes. That's a lot, man. And I also picked up uh, Onimusha Warlords for PC. I didn't realize they put the remaster on PC. So... What's up, Dean? Welcome in, my dude. Oh, shiz. Simon says, I'm doing good today. What's up, Leonard? Welcome in, my dude. You freaking cucumber. Look at him. Oh, okay. Now he's going to explode. What game? It's called, um, Crab Champions. It's $10 on Steam, and the game looks absolutely out of control. So... Yeah, Crab Champions, I think it's called. It's a third-person shooter, and you play as a crab in an arena shooting at other enemies. I, I can't even explain it. You have to look it up, man. $10. So, yeah. I love Onimusha. I saw it on PS2, and I bought it again on PS4. I had the Xbox One version. Um, I sold it a long time ago. I never even opened it. So I bought it on PC, and it's 8 bucks right now. So... Well, okay, I guess. I moved ports of 4 and 5 and all DLC to storage. Good idea. So may the 4th to you, Blast, and everyone else. Absolutely, man. We did not get a dub last night in Fortnite, even with our Star Wars characters and whatever else. The best we did was uh, second place. We tried, though, man. We tried. Double Dragon? Yes, the new one. That game looks awesome, dude. Can't wait. Is that robot spider boss? No, that's a that was a sea cucumber, I think. Is there a there's no release date on that yet, is there? That double dragon game looks fun. I hope the online's good, unlike Scott Pilgrim. It seems genius. You make a double dragon game in the same art style as Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, that makes sense. What's up, Daniel? Bad gator. Oh, it is a bad gator. Oops. Ah, damn it. Ah, sweet. Wonderful shot. Everyone celebrating May the 4th be with you. And now I'm over here waiting for like Cinco de Mayo. Did you use Star Wars wise on Fortnite? I've been working on the Darth Maul quest. So John got me the clone troopers. So I've been using them. That's all I have. I'm not really the biggest Star Wars guy. I will butcher all of the lore that goes with it. Um, but I've been using the, the clone wars, whatever the star, the clone troopers, I think they're called. MK12, but didn't have a release date yet. Everyone's been talking about that too, man. I saw that. Good. Ah, I missed it. Whatever, I'll just keep going. Get over there. Get over there. What's up, Jake? Wow, that dinosaur tank guy won't leave me alone, so I gotta come over here now. Yeah, tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. You'll be fine, I promise. Then everybody will say, Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> Finally, we made it past there. Of course, I gotta come back. I mean, I could. I don't know. I don't like tanking that part. I'd rather just do it the right way. At least my way, anyway. Have you looked into Hypercharge Unboxed? Yes, I have heard of that game. Um, at the time when I was looking at it, I, I don't think the game was very stable. It looks like a lot of fun, though. But uh, I just don't know how many people I can get into that game. He says, may the fork be with you, sir. You as well, sir. Welcome in, man. Getting MK12, we shouldn't. We should have gotten MK collection first. There's been so many MK collections, but nothing definitive, you know? So, Catherine, welcome into the stream. Is it crossplay? I think it is, right? My thing is, is that so many of us only have a Switch. Um, so if it's something that's fully cross-play, I would love to get the PC version of it because I heard it runs a lot better. 
<clears throat> so I don't know. I'm kind of stuck. Doing all right today. Ooh, look at that. Get out of there. Oh, I got to lock my chair because I'm... Oh, that thing was still blowing up. I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't even realize it. Is it already May? Yes, it is. Today is May 4th. Oh, God. Oh, come on, Gator. What are you doing? What's up, Ken? Oh, God, excuse me. On that note, next year they will denounce Definitive Combat Collection. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool if they actually did make something like that. I think the hard part is MK4. They don't... I mean, there's what? Four different versions of Mortal Kombat 4. There's the Arcade, the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 1, and the N64 version. The Wheel Hater. I mean, Gator. Why is the Gator in blood? It looks like oil to me, sir. Ugh. Maybe it's that Reploid blood that we saw in X4. Damn! Get him, there we go. Yeah, put your little spikies down there, dude. Oh, I'm gonna go back out underneath Dreamcast. I don't think it's that bad. Dreamcast version ain't that bad. The thing is, should they include just the fighting games or like all of the Mortal Kombat games from back in the day with their robots how do they bleed I... technically they're reploids not robots there is a difference I think I'm pretty sure there's a difference yeah I'm pretty sure there's a difference what's up Axel how are you doing today sir My green shoes. Oh, 15 years ago for some BS. My karma is at the B word. Cousin lost his life over. Has to live with blood on her hands. That's it, man. That's it. Doing well today. That's good to hear, sir. It was a pretty chill day for me, too, guys. What's up, Dave? Hi. What up, my Smega? Are Reploids just androids? No, they're Reploids. Not androids, they're Reploids. Okay, so... Tank taken care of. That's taken care of. Um, we can go after this guy next. Yeah, let's go after Deep Sea Stage. Yeah, they're Reploids. That's not androids. Two totally different beasts, I guess you could say. I don't know. Oh, come on, controller. Don't be twisties on me. I need to take this one apart and clean it. I have a black one that's barely used that I bought at Goodwill. It was like $4. Goodwill's starting to smarten up, guys. They're insane. The last time I went there was like, what, last week, I think? And they now sell PS2 controllers for $12.99! I have a collection of PlayStation 2 controllers that I've used to buy from them whenever I saw them. They were like $3.99 each. So, I don't know, like... And I guarantee if I go back there tomorrow, it'll be gone. Somebody will have bought that PS2 controller. So now they're getting four times the amount that they used to. Yo, that freaking submarine's driving me nuts. I don't know what they're doing with that. I go after snails. <laughs> there he is. Like, where are you going? I'm not sure what he's, what's going on. There's so many more sound effects in this version of the game. Damn. There we go. Oh, he's all the way up there. That's why. I wasted, I wasted too much time trying to get up there. the weird noise that the submarine makes when it's going in the water. I don't understand why. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Feeling good today? Yeah, I'm okay today. Can't complain. 
Very chill, quiet day for the most part. I had a rough day, test today, needed to clean the desk, scrappled the cleaner, and it broke and spilled on my leg. Then I leaned on the desk and it broke and came back to my room trashed. What? So you had a teacher that literally didn't give a crap about your classroom, sir. Yo, that's nonsense, man. That's not fair. I'm sorry you had to go through that, dude. That effing sucks. Even your co-workers can't respect your, your classroom. Damn. Damn. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. Yeah. Come on. What's up, Gavin? But at least you're here, sir. At least you're here. The sir of the gaming streamers. How are you? Oh, I'm doing okay, man. Same old, same old. You know how it goes. Oh, come on, really? Get out of here, you freaking crab. Jeez. Yep, they pulled her because she can't handle testing. I made sure her room was perfect. That's shit, though. And then you go back to your classroom, and yours was trashed. I would teach that teacher a lesson. That's what I'm saying. What's up, Jason? That's ridiculous, man. That ain't fair. Wow. And the thing is, it's not like you guys can just, like, get rid of teachers. There's a, there's a huge shortage of um, educators um, just because of the state of things and whatever else. Hey, Kirsty, welcome in. That sucks, dude. The lack of respect from other people. Even worse, it's one of your co-workers, man. That sucks. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, I can come back here now and get that over. So work is going off the depend. Wait, so... So, wait, what, Reuven? <laughs> the work is going off the depend? I'm so confused right now. Yowza. Oh, you know what? I think I can F up this submarine right here. Hope things are going okay for you, Kirsty. I know you're having a rough go of things as well, but hopefully things are on the mend for you guys. Like we all got some shit going on right recently. I see the game that Jay Bizzle you playing. Well, here's the thing. I um he told me, he asked me to not spoil it and look up the game or anything, which I'm not. I'm um I'm doing what he asked me to do, so I'm in for a treat, I guess. I guess Ben played it not too long ago, so I, I don't know. I God be with me, I guess, right? Oh, you know what? Let me go here because I really want the dash boots. 18,797 left to hit the 30k. My goodness. Who's going to be the first star sender of the day? Who's going to make my day? Go ahead, viewer. I really need to look closer. One, I've been up since three. Two, had to make up. to make 24 subs. Three, it's what I do. <laughs> You're good, man. I, I just like to break your chops over it. I swear I don't mean anything by it. I miss words all the time and shit, man, when I'm typing out stuff and I go, okay, that made sense two minutes ago, but now it doesn't. John with the first 23 stars. You're on a 14-week streak, sir. Thank you so much, man. Let's go. I appreciate you guys. Absolutely. I said, we all got some shit going on. I totally get it. The only thing we can do is try to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Shayna, welcome in. All right, I need to jump here. Eh. Hey, Chris, what's up, dude? And I taught her. Yeah, yeah. That's the worst part, man. So you're going to have her come in and clean up your classroom? Because that's the only thing that's going to make that right, dude. Work is going off the deep end again. There you go. Well, sir, that's a... That's the Wally World life, man. Stop! Oh, mother... I absolutely refuse to have to go through this stage again, so. Yeah, I refuse to go through the stage again, so. If I die, that's fine, but I don't want to have to go through this again. There we go, yeah. I told the admin, I had to write a statement. Good. 
I'm doing you a favor, and you left me high and dry in my classroom looking like a god dang pits pigsty. Hell no. Dang gonna work. Finally free from the shackles of work. Everyone has a battle. It's very true, man. Lord knows I'm going through mine, so... Now we got the coolest shoes in town. Oh, yeah. Good job, Mega Man. Those things just fall apart with the, the metal blade. Oh, sorry. The... What is it called? The spin wheel? I think it's called? Yeah. Sending everyone PVs. Only. You only get the positive cards. Oh, look, it's the fastest ostrich ever! Wait, are you home yet, Mrs. Blast? Oh, okay, I thought I heard you. And again, I hope it was you and not somebody else in the house. You find an ostrich. I know. It runs super fast. Ugh. Nah, it's a, it looks like a duck. This mud ducka. Oh, I meant to fly underneath him, but... Get other plans. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Save yourself a lot of headache if you don't let him go off screen. Because then he can't jump in the background and do his precision aiming landing, smushing your face. Because he'll do that. For God's weakness. Uh, the Crystal Hunter. Which, honestly, you're better off just using the double X Buster shot because it just... I don't know, the way this buster works in this game, you the enemies literally have no invincibility frames. So, what's up, kid? Involving a minivan and motorcycle? It was not a pretty sight. Oh! Did you have to stop and give a statement and all that stuff? It's like Gizmo Duck from DuckTales. <laughs> all you needed was the visor. That's it. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. I wish the fourth was like yesterday. We didn't win a single Fortnite ranch. Second place for a six foot sub. It's 50 bones, Mackie. Damn, that doesn't, that's not that bad though. 50 bucks for a six foot sandwich? Take me straight up. Thank you. There we go. Capcom is trying uh, hard to get people to play Monster Hunter. They're rerunning their Monster Hunter Rise event on Mega Man X Dive. Really? I didn't know that. I think it's on sale right now for Golden Week on Steam. Like I said, I picked up Onimusha Warlords, the remastered one for PC. It was eight bucks. So I was like, all right, well, <clears throat> mostly because Duke wanted me to play it for his subscriber game. And I figured, you know what? For eight dollars, I might as well. So, yo, what's up, Chris? Thank you for the 11 stars, my dude. Thank you. Thank you. Before you know it, we'll have a stars party initiated. Oh my goodness. Try to smash that 30k wall. Let's go. Oh, come on. We don't need that. Greatly appreciate your star love. Oh, you son of a... You're flying lizard thing throwing fire at me. I have Monster Hunter Rise on Switch on P and PS5. It's not bad. I never really got into games like that. Um, isn't it online co-op too? I think it is, right? Hey, Kells, welcome in. Next time, I'll be like, yo, someone needs a Mackie sub due tomorrow. <laughs> well, tomorrow is the day, guys. I uh, finally have to live through one of my worst food nightmares, and that's fries dipped in Frosty. Which I'm, not, I'm not thrilled about. Not at all. Not at all. And to keep it simple, um, I don't know if the location that's near us has strawberry frosties. So I guess I'll just do the chocolate frosty with fries and I'm going to throw up afterwards. So. Yo, what's up, Viper? It has online co-op. Okay. God be with you, sir. God be with you. I know. I, I, 
I don't know, maybe this month we'll do another super spicy ramen challenge. I think you could still get those on Amazon. Those are the, um, the ghost pepper ramens, I think. I do have bad days well sometimes, absolutely. What's up, Gilmar? Strawberry Frosties. I don't know if our place offers it. And in and, and re and reality, I really don't want to have to throw up. So, Saturday I got the return of TL. Oh, yuck. I can't do fruitcake ever again, though. I absolutely refuse to do that one. Nope. I'm good with the fruitcakes. Never again. That one, I would much rather have spicy than fruitcake. I just... Nah, I'm good. No Star Wars game for May 4th. Uh, sir, you just got that, uh, horrible PC game, Jedi Survivor. <laughs> I saw some at Walmart yesterday. They look scary. What, the fruitcakes? Yeah, they're terrible, man. It's so good. How can you not like it? Fries and Frosty? No, there's nothing remotely good about that. If you eat fries on a Frosty, then you probably belong in a psych ward. Because that's just not human. It's not right. It defies all logical food logic. Awful. Yeah, no, I definitely won't. No. He probably views it like I do, like I view uh, fruitcake. I just can't do that. Oh, the spicy ramen. Yeah, I don't know if they sell the ghost pepper ramen at Walmart. Oh, no, no, no. Here. Frosties and fries slap. Ugh. Yeah, they're going to slap the toilet later on. <clears throat> Late hours last night. <laughs> if I put cantaloupe for a challenge, put up the, the avocado, maybe eat like two or three bites and call it good. Yeah, no, I won't. I'll do cantaloupe all day with avocado. Nah, no, I'm good with that. Yeah, TL, Trace Leches. Um, I think that's... Yeah, I think we're caught up right now, right? Yeah. This one probably has some of the weirdest weapons you get from beating Mavericks. What's up, Doug? Wife got me a spicy Korean noodle bowl, and it was so spicy I cried the whole time I was eating it. But wasn't it delicious, though? Yeah. Delicious. I don't know if I've ever seen Carolina Reaper. I know they make it, but I don't know. I don't know. I have to look for one of those. I can do one of those and cry myself to sleep. Or oh, you eat Trace Slay Chase. No, that 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 goes in the garbage too. So what's up, Tim? I'm doing cantaloupe again. F that fruit. <laughs> is it a texture thing or is it the weird? It's kind of got an off-putting flavor to it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I'm just thinking about that. Maybe it does have a weird off-putting flavor. It doesn't bother me though. I like cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, melon, all that stuff. It's good. That might be the same one, Chris, that I'm talking about. The spicy one from the Korean, uh... Hmm. I can't remember. It's an everything thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be that bad, sir. Tres leches is delicious. Not according to your boy. It says it's nasty. Maybe it's flan that I don't really... I think it's flan. I've had flan before. What's up, Anthony? Maybe uh, tres leches will be okay for me. I don't know. If I've had it before, it's been a hot minute. Flan is something I don't like. I don't like flan. It's got a weird... Ugh. It's in a black bowl with red writing, so it's super hot. Oh, maybe that is the same one, then. Use Giga Crush and nothing happened. I know. It was ineffective. I hate that they do that and then you waste it. Flan is weird, not bad or good, just weird. Yeah, it has a... Um... Flan for me is a texture thing. I don't know. I don't know if I could do that again. It's been a while since I've had it. Made my taste buds change. I have no clue. Flan textures, no bueno. Yeah, okay, so maybe it is a texture thing for me. <clears throat> it's a it's a custard. It's a really weird custard. Playing it on hard difficulty gives me a Souls vibe on combat. They kick the crap out of you all the time. Oh, you little sucker! Ugh. 763 stars, she says. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. 
The funny thing is, I like frozen custard, but uh, Lon is just in its a league of its own. I don't know, man. He said, sir, sir. Oh, shiz, I missed it. I meant to grab that, but it disappeared. It's a moth and it's about to be on fire. I've had super hot stuff uh, before, but nothing like that. It melts my insides. Burn too. Thankfully, the burn didn't last very long. It's kind of scary. Yeah, there's some pretty scary stuff, man. That, um, that Reaper chocolate. That was some of the worst. Dude, it was that was that stuff was no joke, man. I honestly didn't think that that chocolate would be so bad, but it was absolutely horrible. Just got to time your moves correctly. Okay. That's sort of like Elden Ring and all that stuff, but even there you lose stamina and stuff when you try to parry or stuff like that or dodge. Ooh, I got him. He almost hit me with the rainbow beam. What's up, James? It was really delicious. I almost wanted another one. <laughs> I think there is a Carolina Reaper um, ramen out there. I think. When I first started doing those spicy challenges, I, I tried. I was like, ghost pepper's pretty bad. It's got to be bad. And then it was pretty bad. So... Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, and I ate two pieces, well, sort of ate two pieces of it. That was before I got up and decided to go throw it all up in my sink in the kitchen in the other house. You lose stamina in Survivor 2, but, and you can't just hold block forever. Yeah, that's true, you can't. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're excited for tomorrow? Because I have to eat something that's really gross that everyone else seems to think is godlike, which is a load of bollocks, I will say that right now. Yeah, this one. Why does the moth only show up when his health is half? What's up, DeAndre? Uh, that's the uh, the game, sir. The ROM hack actually fixes it, where Morph Moth shows up and he has a full health bar as well. Devil's Toe is supposedly hotter than that. I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me on it. Wasn't that during the Superman 64? Um, I don't remember. What game did I play that day? Maybe it was. Maybe I just said F it and got up in the middle of the game and... Yeah, that sounds about right, man. I think it was. Ah, shiz. Get away, get away. It's a tricky jump right there. Missio, welcome in on your lunch dinner break. I am the hype! All the hypes. Junior told his friends he had a bite of the Reaper chocolate, and one of his friends, which was a lie, and we both know it, said he ate the whole bar. Oh, of course. Well, I mean, come on, man. You know, they're kids. They're gonna they're gonna brag about that stuff. Should ask him, like, well, did you go to the hospital? And the thing is, as a responsible parent, you can't give that to Junior and tell him to have his friends have it, because then you'd be like in big, big trouble, so. Yeah, you'd be like, okay, well, then if that's the case, have one piece of this. You'd be in big trouble if you did that, so. Like, you were really in pain with them? Yeah, it was bad, dude. Really bad. I made a stamina key point compared to Fallen Order, and also I'm playing on Ray Trace mode on PS5, and I have screen tearing. Oh. I hope they fix the PC version of it. They have a lot of gall asking $70 for a game that's literally broken out of the box. That's EA, though, so... Help! Hey, Corey, what's up, man? Take that. And this. Don't want to get stuck by any of those. Go, go, go! Go! Run! Yeah, get out of here. You're not going to scan me. No way. Redfall is just as bad as Gary. I've, I've heard. I've seen, man. It's getting torn apart right now. I feel like... And it's not always the case, though. When a game gets put on Game Pass on day one, it, you feel like it's going to be just bad. That's not always the case, though. 
because you look at games like Shredder's Revenge, TMNT Shredder's Revenge, on Game Pass, it's a freaking phenomenal game. But it's also not a AAA big budget title either. Um, it's literally a $25 game that outperforms any $70 garbage game that's made by a AAA developer. What's up, Ann? Welcome in. What's up, Andrew? Ugh. Uh, let me see. Lunch break. What are you playing later tonight? Uh, tonight is World War Z. I think Edmo said he wanted to jump in. I feel like I'll scare people off if I play Fortnite again, so I'm going to play something different. <laughs> Those yellow orbs could be destroyed if you had a melee weapon. Ah. Bomb bomb. Oh, no screen tearing whatsoever. The phone skipped no. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I need this to break his tail. Yeah, the the excuse of the 30 FPS on console is just nonsense, man. And they still want full price for the game. So, what's up, Tristan? Uh, Andrew, this is Mega Man X2. Damn! Ah. Can't play it yet. You didn't buy it yet? I thought you bought the Steam cards. Spring band performance, so we shan't be in the stream. Well, it'll be good for him, man. That's pretty cool, though. I'll jump in to bed. <laughs> yeah, you have early days, sir. Oh, look at that. I think Edmo's going to play. Uh, I don't know who else is going to jump in. What's up, Blake? Ah, oh, shiz. I didn't mean to do that. Gotta get Relo Montana up in there. Shent means uh, they won't be there. Ugh. Didn't buy the cards yet. Damn! Or he says he has a question, I think. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? Don't play two, Steve. All right, that's two of us. We need a, we need a fourth person. We're on Discord. Should I post my Facebook page stuff if allowed? Facebook page stuff? Wait, what's that? What do you have, Corey? Actually, do me a favor. It's easier for for Jax to answer that because she's not streaming right now. So I'll be able to jump onto something Sunday night. Okay. Sunday night. You got it, sir. It's 4K 60 and drops from there on quality mode depending on load. Mmm. Okay. So ridiculous, though. I know what it means, but is this the Middle Ages Ruby? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for him it is, I guess. He shan't be there. <laughs> yes, send uh send Jax a PM, uh Corey. She can let you know. Her word is just as iron as mine, I guess. <laughs> Maybe more so than mine. Took me forever to figure out how to do that when I was younger. Shant sounds classy. As a historian, no time limit is off limits for me. Doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> Thank you, Miss Yoko, for the double likes up. Stop trying to get this robot suit up there because it just never works. <laughs> there, I think there is a way to get up there, but ain't nobody got time messing with that. Perfect. No reason, no screen tearing or stutter with ray trace mode. You know what the the problem is with the PC version is the Denuvo, which is the DRM that they use to not let people pirate the game, which Perfect. is a load of shit because they've already pirated the game. So there's that. Um, and it literally, Denuvo runs in the background and it completely bogs down PCs. It's insane. Even those with high-end computers with, you know, 
13900K or you know the 4090 and all that stuff, the game barely hits 60 frames a second, which is insane. Because we're talking like $3,000 computers, $4,000 computers that can't run the game because of crap like Denuvo. And the fact that the game is not optimized for PC, which is insane. People spend all this money on gaming PCs to play games like that better than console, which is totally understandable. I mean, why not? But yet it it still doesn't doesn't work. What gets me is that the console versions don't have to run de novo, which is insane. So <clears throat> showing off my coding stuff, future creative. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 absolutely, man. That's totally cool. What's up, Ralph? Trouble, yeah. It's insane. You spend fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars on a gaming, on a graphics card, and <laughs> you, just can't, you can't play the games that it's meant for. Which is like, oh, it's like a slap in the face, dude. I don't have a forty ninety. I have a thirty seventy Ti, so it does work. It's fine. Uh, VRAM is a little bit lacking, but you know, it's, it's only recent. It's only been becoming like a recent problem. So, what's up, Ralph? Oh, come on, snail. What are you doing? Oh, you little punk. But, uh, my computer runs everything it needs to. With more storage options than a PS5 can get. You're not getting your shell. Stop it. There we go. Oh, 4090, yeah. So let me think. I have one, two, three. I have three one terabyte drives in there. Two BX. Oh, I have a, a two terabyte BX. Oh, no. So between the two terabytes, I have a Samsung and a Crucial. That's four terabytes right there. So I think I have total... Uh, I don't know, six? Six terabytes of space on my computer? And there's all kinds of stuff on it, so. Still have a little cough and a little sneezing. I'll wait until Saturday morning to see if I'm okay. I'll keep you put up. Okay, gotcha. I haven't put any dates up yet. Who's playing, of, of when I'm playing what. I just put a list in updating that, hey, I still have a couple of people I need games from for se for the subscriber request, so. I hope so, man. I hope so, because people paid a lot of money for that game. And what sucks is that People who did not pirate the game, or who did pirate the game, they have a much better uh, experience with it than people who actually paid for it, which is insane. I would be super furious, man. No, everything's good now, Corey. Everything's good. There's plenty of um, options out there right now. Budget options, used options. Um, the crypto stuff has kind of died down quite a bit, so... Three terabytes of my console. All of it's almost full. Jeebus. Yeah, I think I have like six terabytes of space. Well, total. I don't have any external drives though, so. But a little stipulations. Oh, no worries, man. I understand. Uh, I think I got everything now at this point. Let's double check. Oh, I was like, where the hell's the music at? Ah. That's actually a good song. A good remix. Get up there, get up there, don't get crushed, Dife. Honk! What's up, Jesse? Ooh, that was close. Oh, you little punk. I've actually hit that guy before on the way up, and he threw me back inside, and I got crushed to death. That was that was crappy when that happened. That was a long time ago, though. But see, that's the thing. Like, I have a ton of... I didn't realize... I as of today, I have, and it's not a lot compared to some people, but I have 83 Steam games on my computer. 83. Which, 
I'm maybe even not even half of those are installed on my computer. So I had to like, if I tried to install every game I have on my PC, then yeah, I probably wouldn't have enough room for all those. So like, I probably should uninstall a couple games to be honest. There's a lot I don't play, so. No, not the spikes. Oh my god, please don't make me use a sub tank, dude. I got lucky. Woo! One more hit and he would have killed me with that. I bet he can't speed through the explosions. X1 has way better explosions for their robots and all that because um they just they're so much faster. Dex. Yo, what's up, John? Welcome in. Thank you for the like, sir. Appreciate it, man. Ah. I tried to jump over him. That was a bonehead move. I have a 1063 gig that came with the PC. Oh, very nice. So I have a 3070 Ti, an Asus Tough 3070 Ti. This is Blast has my MSI RTX 2060. That has six gigabytes of VRAM in it. And then my other card um, that we don't use right now I have a, it's a EVGA GTX 1050 Ti. Pretty old card, so. Good old Mega Man X. Explosions are, they're more beautiful. Yeah, they're more graceful and beautiful. So, like I said, I don't play a huge amount of AAA games on my PC. I like to buy them because I can at least run them pretty well, I'd say. Um... But, you know, I do find myself buying a lot more PC games than ever before, though. I like playing them at the best graphic fidelity and FPS as I can, so... 18,763 stars left to hit 30k! Oh my goodness! And we're gonna blow this guy away. Will they get a load of me? For explosion. <laughs> I'm sure he could. I'm surprised he hasn't been able to make a Fast and Furious movie yet. Almost seems like it'd be a match made in heaven for him. Look at this. Look at this! Stand right here and do it just like this. He can't get you. He might hit you a couple times with the energy orbs, but... Here, you literally can't do anything. Futuristic Dr. Wily. Yeah, it's kind of him in, uh, in spirit, yeah. It's, uh, his name's Sergis. Okay, hit me there. In Mega Man Zero, you fight against, um, a guy named Dr. Vile. His name is spelled, I think it's W-E-I-L. So, of course, like me, I didn't realize it was pronounced Vile. And I kept calling Dr. Wheel, and I'm like, oh, that's Dr. Wily, but it's not him, you know, so... Don't tempt him. <laughs> if you stand there, after all these years, I realize you can just stand right there and do that and he won't bear he barely hurts you at all. You ever played any of the X sequels? They're good, man. I mean honestly, you can get them cheap now. The X Legacy collection. For the average person who doesn't want to go through emulation and all that, X Legacy collection's where it's at. Even if you get volume two, which includes X5, 6, 7, and 8. Arguably not the greatest in the series. Like, 1 through 4 was great. 5, 6, 7, and 8 was like, oh, what happened here? Working fairly consistently on a music app. Don't know if you've seen the post. Um, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think I've seen them yet. A music app. I see the pun post more than anything, Corey. <laughs> they are hilarious, by the way. 
Whoa, that was close. X7 is godly. Oh, yes, it was you, Pascal. You're right, you're right. But it was funny because we did the race a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, how come you're not standing down there and doing that to him? Because I remember you fighting him normally, so I was like, if that's how he wants to fight. I guess. Uh, okay, I froze him, but there we go. Moment of truth over here, guys. We're going to see if I can do this without dying here. We're going to try. Oh, you little punk. Thank you, Chris, for the likes. Appreciate it, dude. Come on. Queen V, what's up, girl? Oh my god, that was so close. My thumb flicked the joystick, and I almost went to the left and jumped in the spikes. One, great. Makes you ask, why am I buying pack two? Fuck! Exactly. And it's because the completionist in us will not allow us to not buy it because it has all the other games on it. Joshi! You can't do that in the Game Boy version. No, you cannot. And uh, was it Extreme or Extreme 2 that you fight him in? But I only sent stars. It's okay, man. Oh, I started to get the Dragon Punch now. That's completely useless at first. Get a Dragon Punch, and then you end up having to use Jelly to take them all out. Thanks, Joshi. Appreciate the like, sir. There you go. Oh my god, that was close. Get out of here. There you go. Two hours till Got G Vol 3. Yay! Yeah, we're going to go next Monday. That's the plan. I hope it's good. God, I hope it's good. What's up, Chris? I hope it's good. Better than Thor. God, I hope it's better than Thor. Love and Thunder. They hyped the shiz out of that movie. We were really excited to see it. Whatever you do, don't die. Not yet. Nope, haven't died yet, sir. Not yet. It was okay. It wasn't terrible, but I don't know. Could have been. Oh my god, did I turn on... Did I forget to turn on Noxbot? Oh no, I did. Okay, it's on. Ah, uh, no, don't start the PS3 emulator. Why did I click that? There we go. Anybody going to E3? Uh, no, because they canceled E3. There it is. Probably Sunday for me, watching GOGT3 TVD3. We have fun next Monday on our day off to go to the movies, and then the following Monday is adult. We have to go get the car service. E3 is no more. What movie are you talking about? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Ah, you punk. Tried to reach out to the man who died in the pursuit, but was unable to get a comment. Wait, who? Ah. What's up, Abraham? Even if E3 wasn't canceled, I still never go because I don't live in California. I'll be the first one to give criticism. Oh, I know you will, sir. <laughs> it's all good, though, man. You never know. It could be a good movie. I hope it's good. Um, like I said, I uh, I uh, I picked up Guardians of the Galaxy for PC today. It was $17.99. That game rarely goes on sale. And the last time I saw it on sale, I think it was $29.99. So I'm like, you know what? I've been wanting the PC version of this for a while. Just to play it in 60 FPS. So you got issues, Quill. Yeah, E3's been canceled over a month now. <laughs> First Comic Con in Jackson, Mississippi. End of the, end of the month of June. Nice, dude. Supposed to be, yeah, it's like two hours and two and a half hours or something. We have yet to see uh, Ant-Man Quantumania. I know it didn't review the best of a lot of places, so... Oh, Brett the Hitman Heart's going to be there. Nice, dude. Woo! 
most of them were some parts that were too much. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of weird. I felt like some of that was kind of drawn out. It was kind of weird, but it wasn't a terrible movie. No way. But, um, I don't know. Thank you, Ruby. Appreciate double likes, man. Waiting for Dis Disney Plus to watch Ant-Man. Yeah, I think it's, um, like two weeks from now, I think, or something like that. I don't know. E3 has been replaced by R4. Wait, what's R4? Deadpool 3 will be amazing when that comes out. I hope so, man. We've been waiting a long time. A long time. Oh, sh Nikes. What's up, Jordan? Shiz. I'm going to have to use this because you can't go through that with uh, the Dragon Punch. I knew he was going to do that. Ah, now I can't even use it. Damn it. Hungry. It smells good already. What's up, Tom? Yeah, there you go. Back is Wolverine. He loved that role. He... Hopefully, it's good. I hope so. Hope we're not just gonna be blinded by the fact that we haven't seen a new Deadpool anything in so many years, and uh, we're just gonna be like, "Here's what we got." But I know Ryan is heavily involved in um, in the movie, so it should be good. What's up, Andy? See, I was trying to, but when he has the shield, you can't use the Dragon Punch on him. He just goes right through him. So Christian Bale stole the show as Gore, though. He did. He really did. Ryan Reynolds is mid. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, Jesus. Heading home now. Yay. What's up, Duke? How's it going, buddy? How's it going, my dude? I picked up uh, Onimusha today. I bought it on PC. Because I realized what version you were talking about, uh, the, the remastered version, and I paid eight bucks for the PC version, so I got it, I got it. It's going, uh-oh, I heard my name and was like, what movie? <laughs> uh, we were talking about Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and then we talked about, um, what else we talked about? What's up, Eric? Thor, Love and Thunder. Next minute come out, even though nothing has been announced yet. Oh yeah, we're gonna get something, though. Ooh, that was lucky. Damn. That messed me up over here. Ooh. I hope Deadpool 3 is going to be good. I really do, guys. 18763. Let's hope we can get it. Duke says, I got you, man. Thank you for the 1,001 stars. Gets a little bit closer. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Gotta go back. See you later. Monsieur, have a wonderful rest of your shift. We'll see you tonight, man. Ah. Damn. Which one is this? This is X2. On you, damn centipede. There you go. Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> oh, Duke Nukem. May the fourth be with you and with you as well. 17762 to reach 30k. Flash is supposed to be the best DC movie in a long time. Man, I hope so. I kind of wish we still had HBO Max just to watch it, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad that we don't. I can only watch the service. Oh, if I can hit him with. No, not that. This right here. It's a snail with a rocket ship. Oh my God. Carrie Fisher got her star on the walk today. Yay. Oh, it took a nice chunk of health off of him. <laughs> let me go. Let me go. What's up, John? Welcome in. I have HBO Max just to watch Big Bang Theory. We still love that show. I haven't seen it in so long. Honestly, I want to see it. Just see Michael Keaton back as Batman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. He made Wolverine look like an effing emo kid. 
Oh, man. I honestly... So, as a non-comic book guy... From a non-comic book fan's perspective... Okay? Hugh Jackman does okay as Wolverine. As Logan. As Logan. As only a person who watched the TV show, the X-Men animated series, I did not like him as Wolverine. So... So... I don't know, like... I'm so, like, torn on it. I can't say anything about Marvel comic stuff because I like the IP, I like the, the characters in it. I've never read a comic in my life about Marvel. Anything Marvel, so... A lot of people are going to see the Flash movie. Yeah, to see Michael Keaton. So, is the Flash movie supposed to be like a soft reboot of the DC Universe? So that James Gunn can take over and like completely redo the whole damn thing? Who could be Wolverine? Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Hugh Jackman is over six feet tall. That's insane. I thought it was weird that they casted him because Wolverine's always been a short guy. That's the whole idea. You underestimate him because he's so short. And then he looked like just hits you with the claws, you know, or whatever. It's a reboot. Okay, so is it a hard reboot? Like, nothing else happened in that particular timeline? Or is it just a soft reboot? That's what I'm curious about. They have a new Wolverine who would play him. See, that I don't know. I don't know of anyone off the top of my head. You guys know actors and actresses way better than I do. So, he was great as Wolverine, but as further went, he redeemed himself as Logan. I thought so, too. Oh, Thomas Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, the thing is, DC has never been consistent about their timeline, about who's where and, okay, why is Joker in this timeline? Who's the Batman for that timeline with, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker? And, uh, you know, the Justice League, where, what timeline are they in? That type of thing. So it almost sounds like the new Flash movie is going to just completely reboot all of that. Crisis of infinite box offices. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I can't watch the movies without being biased. Where's the comics? See, yeah, I, like me, I'm just an average Joe. This is what I got. What's up, Patrick? Keanu Reeves wants to be in the Marvel Universe. I thought he didn't. I thought he didn't want to be in it. The other stuff happened before, and others will be considered Elseworld. Ah, okay, okay. So the Justice League movie was based on the New 52 comic series. Okay, so that is its own timeline, then. I think it's just too much of that stuff is made public about the problems that Henry had with people at WB and DC and the directors changing, you know, personal problems with Ezra, Ezra Miller and all that stuff. I mean, I don't know. May the fourth be with you. His comic book just came out and a movie is rumored to happen. I can see him as a villain or anti-hero. Why are you being high is What? High is What? What the hell does that mean? So the new 52 series was like a, re a reboot of all the comics. Okay. You be Sigma in five minutes before I have to leave? I'm getting there. Almost. I have to fight Zero next, though, so probably not. But it took Mega Man 5 music. That's pretty cool. Forgot about that. Close one. You don't want to mess with these. Those will insta kill you. So, leave the Flash movie. We'll take elements from Flashpoint. Oh, why am I against tall people? I don't got nothing against tall people. Hi, yes, I got you. I got you. Now I see what you mean. Okay. You X five. I didn't say X five. I said Mega Man five. I don't know, this might be... Maybe it's Mega Man 6. I could be way off. 
heard Jim from the box o or from the office is supposed to be Mr. Fantastic. Oh, I don't know. Hoping the rumors about Adam Driver cast as Mr. Fantastic aren't true. Who the hell is that guy? Michelle Pfeiffer comes back as Catwoman in The Flash. I'll be like, damn. Or you'll be more like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't know if she could actually be in that DC movie. If she's got uh, contractual obligations to Marvel, playing uh, what's her face from the Ant Man universe. Whoa, whoa. Queen, welcome Ian. Yikes. Jesus. X5 is you. I'm different about X3. What's wrong with X3? What you got against X3? Damn, he messed up my no damage run on that. Jack Nicholson can't be since his Joker is dead. That's true. Bibito, welcome in. Just a cameo would be cool. But can she, though, legally, if she has any contractual obligations to Marvel because of Ant-Man? That I don't know. Oh, it's facing the wrong way, you big dumb idiot. <laughs> Whoops. Flashpoint messes everything up. Oh, I don't know. You guys would know better than me about that. I don't watch any of those WB shows or anything like that. So. Whoa, that was close. It'd be hilarious if they had Halle Berry's Catwoman show up. <laughs> That would be hilarious, because then DC would acknowledge and make fun of their own movies, knowing how bad that Catwoman movie was. Wonder how much Michelle Pfeiffer got paid for putting a live bird in her mouth? Oh, I don't know. I gotta dip out. Remember y'all, pee pee poo poo later. <laughs> Have a good one, Drew. I'll see you, buddy. You mess with the timeline and the world goes to crap. That's very true, man. I think, honestly, if Capcom did some type of, um, I don't know, like, uh, if they wanted to, like, reboot the X series instead of trying to say, let's make a Mega Man X9, they should make a Crossing Timelines Mega Man X game. That'd be awesome. Barry saved his mom, and in doing so, he gave away new things and, oh, gave way to new things and took away older things. Oh. What's that I'm seeing about how, like, if, let's say, like, Reverse Flash is in the new movie, that he has to tell him to kill his mom to fix a timeline or something? Is that true? Ow! Damn! What's up, Jose? Welcome in, my dude. She is. Got him. DC characters can't let go of dead family members. That's true, they can't. Look at Batman. <laughs> so 89 Joker will come back. Oh. That's true. Yeah, that's true. If they um change a bunch of stuff, I mean... You know what it is? It's because... <laughs> I've said this before, guys. We've talked about this shit before. Marvel does that stuff all the time. Like, oh my god, you remember that guy? He came back and blah, 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 blah. And people lose their minds when they see somebody who used to be in a movie or some type of acknowledgement of another character from an older movie or franchise. And they bring them back. People go crazy over that stuff. Because it invokes feelings of nostalgia. So... Superboy, ow, punched a hole in reality. He brought back Jason Todd back from the dead. Really? That sounds like a comic thing. Uh, 
Unalive Sigma is better than Wolverine Sigma. Fast and Furious, no one stays. To yeah, that's true. That's very true. They have the power of family behind them, sir. That's why. <laughs> this changes how this fight goes because there's no slowdown here. Yeah. See, now this song is from Mega Man X5. This is when you fight Sigma. Oh, come on. How come other times doesn't hit me? Yeah, I'm going to use that. I don't want to die here, so... Knowing my luck, I would get hit right there. What's up, Paul? Welcome in, dude. See, I could have had health right there, and I didn't use it. He's a sub tank. I almost didn't. <laughs> Everyone's like, heal, don't die! <laughs> Look, I was getting health. I could have just literally not used my sub tank. The things that I have no reason to refill ever. Oh. See, right there. It doesn't hurt me, but the one time it did. Let's go red Sigma. I could hit him with the dragon punch and end it right here, but... Do, 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 do. So if X had just destroyed that main computer in the background, he probably could have finished him off really quick. Oh no, now I can't do the dragon punch. Oh no. Superboy Prime was so powerful that they had to confine him to beat him. So they couldn't even actually technically beat him. They defeated him, but they didn't beat him. Super Prime Boy defeated. Look, he was already dead anyway. I think he's dead. What's up, Ben? Welcome in. Ah. May the fourth be with you. I should have played a Star Wars game today, but I'm so afraid of the music copyrights in Star Wars. It's like, what is good and what isn't? Mega Man 10? Uh, don't have that right off the bat, sir. Although I probably should because, uh, I don't have the uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection on PC, fortunately. I had to throw him the Speed Force or something, I forget. Speed Force, that sounds serious. All right, I'm not going to sit around for the ending. Yeah, we beat the game. Woohoo! Close content. Let's play another game here. Um, yes, I'll do what I can, Mackie, to try to get as far as I can in this game. Oh, never mind. OBS is like, I got you, man. I can bring the games up ASAP. Da -da 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 -da. Toad Man's gonna be the first victim it, assuming i don't die so. yeah so you guys read all those comics i have not so i can't help it but watch the movies and i take that as the gospel the problem with dc is that they tell small snippets of a story in a movie then they expect you to to read the comics or have you know like knowledge of the lore itself and I don't read comics, so it's like... You guys are gonna be like, Yeah, they did the thing, and the one time with the thing, and they did the thing, and I'm like, Oh, I didn't, I didn't even know that. I only watched the movies. Oh yeah, it was in issue number 37, and blah 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 blah. I'm like, oh shit, okay, well, I guess I don't know. What's up, Robert? I have it on... Uh, no, I have it on Xbox... And PS4. I don't have it for Switch. Oh, I have it digitally for Switch. That's right. And I don't have it on PC, though. 
Because I've heard the emulation is really weird on PC. I don't know. Just me, though. PC has vastly better animated films. I agree. But it's all in their mindset to continually compete with Marvel and Disney. That's why they keep doing live action. Namor is quite the ladies' man. I mean, look at him, of course. Of course he is. Why do you think they made Aquaman look the way he does? Brett, T, Nose, Wolverine, and Sabretooth are brothers. <laughs> they sure are. Sir, he's watching Guardians of the Galaxy. He's not going to be able to answer your phone or your, your, ta your tag right now. Although he'll probably be like, yo, what the hell, man? Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's what Fox says, so it's fine. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that even when I did hear about that, I'm like, it's not real. There's no way. Of course, they only did it just to make story consistency, which is just weird because it's a very inconsistent, non-factual thing. Even as a non-comic fan, even I know that Wolverine is not related to Sabretooth. They just did that for the movie, I guess. I don't know. He's comics vine and fandom to stay up to date with comics. So he tried to charm Princess Shuri in Wakanda forever. Did he? I don't think he did. I don't think so. No, I know they're not. I know for a fact they're not. That's just uh the Fox jargon. Fox movie jargon. Come on, you stupid toad. Oh, come on, he didn't slide. Come on, Mega Man. I guess it didn't register that I hit down, so it took it as me, like, literally just jumping. Sir Fox said it. <laughs> oh, Lord. He gets so triggered when you say things like that, which I understand. I mean, any, like self-respecting Marvel fan who actually knows the lore would get super pissed off when they hear things like that coming out of the movies. Oh, what are you going to tell them, brother? And you're like, what? No, the Sabretooth and Wolverine aren't brothers. Oh, that's right. The light bulb guy. I almost went to Pharaoh, man. That would have been bad. Na, 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 na. Got it, Fabricio. Thank you for the follow. Yes, thank you. Seventeen thousand seven hundred and sixty two stars to hit the daily goal of thirty K stars. At least get to my boy. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Is somewhat recently uh, errated Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch uh, so that they are not only mutants like in the MCU, but they aren't even Magneto's kids. Wow. So wait. I'm confused now. So... Man. You know what really hurt that whole situation too is uh, WandaVision. When they mess with everybody with, uh, oh my god, Quicksilver. And it's it wasn't, uh, what's his face, that was Quicksilver. It was the other guy from the X-Men movies. But they could play off the whole idea that, oh, multiple timelines. It's different people playing the same character, you know? So, of Susan Storm that cheated on Reed with Namor. Oh, I doubt that, man. I absolutely doubt we will see that. Wolverine and Sabretooth were half brothers. Oh, they're 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 cousins. I have no idea. You're asking the wrong person, man. <laughs> I got no idea. You you mother. Why did it do that? No, 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 no. That's not even right, man. 
Why did he even, why did that thing even do that? Yo, this game pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> Unreal. No, 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 they're not related at all. What's up, Alex? Come on, but right to man. Gotcha that, and you're gonna get hit with this. Wait. Okay, that was nonsense. I think it's because I just touched the platform, but it wasn't actually me jumping on it. Got it. Woohoo! Every year. Wolverine's birthday. Sabretooth tracks him down just to whoop his ass to remind him who's stronger. That sounds like something out of the comics. Like, that's legitimately from the comics, isn't it? But, okay, so from the comics standpoint, does Sabretooth age the same type of way that Wolverine does? Because obviously he's got the slower aging because he has a slower metabolism. Or the faster metabolism. Whatever, he's got the Captain America thing going. But Fox said... <laughs> what a strange choice for Sabretooth. Liv Schreiber, I think his name is. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we could have got someone else to do it. Who was the guy that played Sabretooth in the original X-Men movie? What's up, Charlie? They're very similar in comics, even though they have no blood relation whatsoever. Okay. So it's just the mere fact that they're mutants and they have that ability. They age much slower than everyone else. They have the Captain America syndrome. Got it. The whole aging slower thing is literally an excuse for them to keep writing comics forever and putting them in movies forever and not having to age them digitally or whatever. I have no idea. They made, so in the original X-Men movie, first one, um, the guy who played as Sabretooth was literally an idiot. I just feel like he just didn't have, like, I get it. I guess Sabretooth isn't that smart, but I don't know, though. I don't know where his intelligence level lies in the comics or whatever. So, they both have a healing factor, but Sabretooth is older. Okay. Wolverine has healing, not Captain America. Oh, that's true. That's true. You're right. You're right. Forgot about that. Captain doesn't. The movies did that to him, where he... I don't know, I guess he heals faster? I have no idea. But not like... Not an actual healing factor like Wolverine or Deadpool. Fox also said that Goku went to school and was bleed. <laughs> oh my god, please no. That's too much. That goddamn Dragon Ball Evolution movie, man. The movie should be literally... Outlawed. So who has a better healing factor than Deadpool or Wolverine? And every every comic book character seems to have a healing factor too. Think about that. But so okay, the movies messed me up though. I never knew that. I never thought that Captain America had a healing factor. Ah oh, shit. But uh, it was one of those like the movies condition you to think that he does because he barely gets hurt. So Tyler Main played Sabretooth in X Men 2000. Okay. Double Dragon, new one coming out September 30th. Yay! Oh, Tyler Mayne used to be Kevin Nash's tag team partner. Okay. He, really, he is a big dude, so... Makes sense. Deadpool's healing factor would be stronger, but his cancer makes it seem weaker. Ah, okay. There you go. Gotcha. What a kind of strange uh, way to kind of like advertise that he's got that healing factor as to why he has it. Um, but he's constantly healing from cancer, in, from a, a terminal disease. It's insane. Uh, let me think. It's Barrel Man, right? Uh, yeah. 
So, okay, well... Again, I don't know much about the comics characters or whatever. So then if, like they did in Deadpool 2, where he literally, you know, I'm, I'm gonna rip you in half. If Wolverine got ripped in half, if, let's say Juggernaut was strong enough to do that, would he heal the same way? I don't know if Juggernaut's actually smart, strong enough to rip Wolverine in half. Would he still be able to grow the other half of his body back? Or is that just a really exaggerated thing that Fox did? I'm asking you guys because you seem like the pros and I don't really, I don't actually know. So yes, he would. Wolverine's is more powerful, but because of his adamantium, he is constantly fighting ferrite poisoning. Okay. Which makes sense because the metal in his body is not natural. He actually had a bone structure and not something made of some type of metal that, you're right, it would actually poison him. You gotta get the ring first to stick it up a vacuum, that's right. <laughs> so Juggernaut is strong enough to rip Wolverine in half like he did the Deadpool. And was that whole scenario of Juggernaut ripping Deadpool in half, was that something from the comics? That's what I'm wondering. Juggernaut can rip both of them in half. Okay, so he is that strong. He's just an idiot. Gotcha. So it depends on when in the comics. He has literally come back from being completely burned down to his skeleton. Okay, so... Okay, that makes sense then. Hulk ripped Wolverine in half and came back after that. Okay. I'm also going to assume that uh, the Juggernaut and Hulk have had fights in the comic and the Hulk has won every time, right? You can't stop this mother <laughs> The Hulk ripped Wolverine in half and threw one half of him across Canada. Okay. That's one way to say big F you. I gotta get that, that sound bit. Thank you for reminding me, Ruben. What's up, Matthew? F that, I'm gonna keep going. I don't need no uh, stinking E-Tanks. <laughs> I'm gonna get that sound bit, I'm telling you. I tried using it as a star alert a while back, and, um... Whenever I went to go play the actual audio file through Streamlabs, it literally would not play the file. So I don't know if it was a copyright thing or what the deal was, so... Sonic EXE, oh my god. The other thing is, is that when you do the Sonic EXE file, it doesn't show, or doesn't do the, um, the music in the levels. It's all that creepy Sonic EXE music, that's it. Burgers for Mackie. He likes them burgers. <laughs> you can stop this mother It's actually an entire song that was written for that particular part, and it's hilarious. I'm gonna do right, So if I stay in the Kona, he can't throw the ring. He doesn't throw the rings at me. There's so many Omega level mutants. Oishi Hambaga. Smells amazing up in her. It kind of does, yeah. I can smell it. Alright, where are we at? Um. Gotta get the ring to shove it in the vacuum to throw garbage at a skeleton guy. Got it. I got home. My first Jimmy Butler jersey arrived. He is him. Wait, what does that mean? Jimmy Butler. Who's that guy? I'm completely ignorant when it comes to certain things, guys. I apologize. My mind is full of useless facts and things, but there are some things I'm just like, huh, what? Iceman. That's what I've heard. I've heard Iceman is way more OP than any show or movie has ever shown him to be. 
Andy is back. Hello, hello. Please for the heat. Ah, oh, there you go. Yo, Duke with the 1762, my dude. Let's go. Yeah, extra life. Thank you. Whoa. Coming through. Iceman is Omega level. So he's... Omega Destroyer. Sorry, I was thinking of X-Men Children of the Atom. <laughs> yeah. 10,000 stars left. Let's go. Wait, 10,000. It's 16,000. I'm so off on stars. 30k is the goal. We're going for 30k, I think. Stars Party Challenge. Holy shnikes. Thank you, Phil, for the 11 stars. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. That was close. I almost got crushed. Top tier mutant. Oh, okay. Ugh. Yeah. 16,000. Actually, less than that because he sent an 11. <laughs> uh, did order some more of those um, godforsaken jelly beans, too, guys. The hot and spicy ones. Um, Got him. Duke with the 1,200. Let's go. Yo. So I got half. Who got the other half? Bit, didn't I give it a big half? <laughs> that one we rarely see on the public streams. You just see those on the subscriber streams. I'm him, her moments when you know that someone is a dude slash dudette. Oh, he is him. Oh, I got you, man. I got you. I got you. Da -da -da. We've only seen the 1501 star alert a few times, and I really want to, like, maybe a couple times? I want to see it again soon. If you don't know, well, you'll figure it out soon enough. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, get out of here, vacuum cleaner. Awesome star bombs! Oh my god. Oh. I think I can voice record that and use that as a, in a, um, a Noxbot command. Instead of saying ultra combo. Awesome star bomb! Ho oh, ho ho! Yeah, 1501. 1501. Mackie's boy. Gonna go fight Mackie's boy. So, yo, what's up, Peter? Perfect! There it is! My dude! Oh shit! Duke, my dude, man. Thank you so much. Holy shnikes. All right, man. You get to pick Toxic Waste or the Hot Sauce Challenge. My God. Phil with another 11 to keep it odd. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the odd. <laughs> the cacophony. Oh, I love it. Game of a yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love that alert. That one's funny to me. And I put 1501 because it's straight up an odd number, so. And I like that alert, it's really funny to me. The waste, he said, get toxic wasted. All right, queen, can you bring me a toxic wasters? Or are you busy? Mini tank. You son of a Eddie. Damn it! Spider-Man was him when he broke into prison, unmasked to beat the shiz out of Wilson Fisk. In front of every criminal is Spider-Man, probably put away on Rikers Island. No shiz, for real. 13, 277 left to get us on track for that star goal this month, guys. I can wait. I've heard of Molecule Man. I don't know where, but yes, I definitely have. At some point in my life, I've heard of Molecule Man. Do, 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 do. So like this. Any character that has an elemental, conceptual, or fundamental base power is considered Omega level. So that even includes Scarlet Witch then, I'm assuming? The queen is here to give me some toxic waste. She 
looks like you were about to get toxic wasted. Oh shit. Oh, the wrappers. <laughs> she hates that I throw the wrappers in there and don't throw them in the garbage. I always forget. She's gonna shove her fingers in my mouth now, guys. Check it out. It smells really good. Garlic witches among them. Ah! Oh, grape strawberry, son of a no! He picked up a mountain and dropped it on the Avengers. Holy shit! Ah, the. Oh yeah, you can definitely taste the grape on that. <laughs> he jumped over it. Oh, it's making my mouth water. I'm salivating right now. How did I miss? Oh, fuck. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Firestar was made up just for the Spider-Man and his amazing friends. And she has been deemed non-mutant, so Scarlet Witch lost the, that classification. So Molecule Man, wound up in the house of M. Ball Man Thick. <laughs> J. <laughs> He's OP if you look up his belt. I can't even talk because my saliva glands are like, what the fudge are you doing to me? Mm. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I was wondering. Ugh. Ugh. So she's not a mutant anymore. Is that something she found out later, or is that like a... They just said because her power... She was, she was born with her powers, right? They kind of made that classification in uh, WandaVision. In the show. Again, guys, I'm not a comic guy, so... Every, every piece of knowledge I get is from just watching the shows on Disney Plus and all that stuff, you know? I guess Skullman's better than being a bony guy, you know? Let's see if Eddie gives me an E-Tank. I don't think I need one, though, to be honest. Nope. Oh, Eddie. All right, so there's a crack in this candy, so all of the sourness in the middle is literally seeping out. Apocalypse and Magneto are considered Omega level based on their abilities. Okay, so maybe you guys can answer it then. What in the hell is Apocalypse's mutant powers? And is he from Earth? Is he an alien? Is What is he? But okay, he can, he can grow gigantic. Um, what else? Super strength? What else can he do? Haven't been reading lately enough, but have learned that she and, uh, QS are mutates made by the high evolutionary when they were infants to simulate being actual mutants. Okay, so they are... Biomolecular alteration is his main ability. Okay, where the hell is he from? Chris has said Scarlet Witch can take away mutant powers. That's true. I did see something about that a while back. Um, there was like a universe where all the X-Men lost all their powers or something. I don't think she took away their abilities. She literally made it so they can't use their powers. Does that make sense? Like it's a little different than actually just taking it away. So they can't actually like use their powers. Okay, yeah, Quicksilver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, okay. So where is where is Apocalypse from? Like, is he of this world? Is he from another world? Is he... What makes him so special? The telekinesis is on the near level matter of manipulation. Okay, so Apocalypse... Okay, that makes sense then. I guess, because that one Garbo X-Men movie, which one was it? Where uh, Psylocke was played by Olivia Munn and she's like, Oh, I serve Apocalypse and blah, blah, blah. That's, that's, that's where I'm going with it. I don't really know how... I, yeah, God damn Candy. God damn it, Duke. Yeah. Awful. <laughs> who eat this literally enjoy it? Like, why? He was human who was gifted technology from Celestials. Okay. Then that, that also makes sense. So, okay. So, En Sabah Nur is Egyptian. 
but was enhanced by celestial technology. Okay, so... So that makes sense. So technically speaking, hear me out. Could we see Apocalypse in the MCU? Which I know the X-Men are coming, we know that. The reason I ask is because of, you know, as, as not so great as the movie was, the Eternals talked about the Celestials. And I think they're even probably touched on a little bit in the Ant-Man movie. I don't know, I haven't seen Quantumania yet, so... He's the first and most OP mutant, so to speak, and the graphics in this game remind me of Alex Kidd. But it's a great game still. Wish they made a new Mega Man for this generation. They did, Michael. Um, Mega Man 11. If you have not played it, it's great. Jeez, has twice messed with all mutants. Uh, once... Hold on. Once started the House of M and made it so they ruled the world. Then... Uh, hold on. And she said no more mutants and caused M Day where almost all mutants lost their powers. Let's just so literally he literally have them lose their powers. Okay. Gotcha. Well, there hasn't really been any official like, hey, they're in the MCU now. As far as I know. It's also it's just only really been strongly hinted at. So, losing their powers, lost their powers, or ceased existing together. I mean, we're getting Adam Warlock now. That's true, too. We are getting Adam Warlock, so... Which, Breddy will let us know. I mean, he won't spoil it, but he'll let us know, like, hey, yay or nay. So, Wanda is literally capable of altering reality. That's true, too! So, I probably should have rewarded that a little bit better. I guess she can just take their powers away and make them live in a mindset that they don't have mutant powers. So, Selene, not from Underworld, is one of the oldest mutants. So who's older? Apocalypse or Selene, whoever that is? Who's that? Ah. Oh. The hints came from the Illuminati and Doctor Strange multiverse. Of madness, yep. So far, it is so far removed that they have canceled it already. Wait, I'm so confused. So, what's up, Marcus? So, did they change? Okay, so that it was something wrong with Multiverse of Madness. Because from what I understand, they had to rewrite the script like I don't know, half a dozen times for the Doctor Strange movie. Hi, punk. No! There we go. It's going good, buddy. How are you, man? See, everybody was, was, uh, we were all tricked in Multiverse of Madness, where we saw, like, Mr. Fantastic and all those other people, and we're like, oh my god, no, 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 and then they all just died. Oh, the X-Men being in the MCU is what is currently on hiatus. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Pizza Hut for lunch today. Gotcha. Man, y'all are confusing the hell out of me with this. <laughs> Teenage Negasonic Warhead powers were retconned for Deadpool. Her only original power was empathy. Oh. Makes sense. She'll have a more prominent presence in probably Deadpool 3. Yeah, they all just died. <laughs> they did. They all just died in like 10... <gasps> Drill Man, you asshole. What? Sonny's getting better, but he's a handful. Oh, them kids. I don't like being sick. I'm the same way. When I get sick, I'm a big old baby. So I get it. I'm right there with him. to come to understanding that movies and comics will never link. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, dude, if you think about it, though, it's probably best that the movies and the comics never link together, ever. They can take, um, like, inspiration from them and say, hey, this person is from, hey, I know that person, and hey, I've seen that comic character, whatever. But that's it. 
that's where they should draw the line and not have it where the comics and the movies were linking together. Because I think at one point they tried to do that. And then when you get to a certain point that, like, there's just too much. There's too much. There's too much to link in different places for it to actually make sense. You cannot have the movies running as long as they have and the comics running way longer than they ever have linking together. You just can't. So, and the high evolutionary is a god in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Not sure if he is a main. And he has a tie to Rocket's creation. Oh in games like Marvel Puzzle Quest. Exactly, that's it. Yeah. Well, he's not spoiling it, Andy. Adam Warlock was hinted at in Guardians 2. Like, at the very end of the movie, they literally showed, oh, Adam Warlock. Like, they didn't say his name, but if you knew who he was and what he looked like in the comics, you'll know, like, oh shit, that's Adam Warlock. So, yeah, he's not spoiling it, though. No, 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 no. Or in Deadpool movies. Yeah, that too. Oh, hey, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the raid. What's up, Shane? Thank you for the, the follow, man. What's up, old guy ADD? How's it going, buddy? Welcome in, guys, gals, ladies, gents. What's going on, my dude? How are you, man? Ugh. Trying to see if I can actually beat Mega Man X2 and 4 in two hours. I don't think I can, though. I think it's just too much. I'm trying, though. At the end of the day... She, oh, she did say. Okay, she did call him Adam. I couldn't remember. I haven't seen the movie in a hot minute, so I couldn't remember if she actually called him that. Golden Cocoon. I mean, really? <laughs> See, I never read the comics or anything, so me being that uh, completely ignorant person to all that stuff, I'm like, oh, a guy named Adam and he's golden. <laughs> I can beat this game in 145. You can too. Well, I have, um... I got, um... Mega Man X2 under my belt so far today, too. Oh, shit. I was trying to beat both in two hours. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. Case in point, the effing Phoenix Saga. Stop touching that shit. <laughs> As a Sam Raimi fan, I actually really like the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, you know, honestly, um, it was a fun movie. I like watching it. It was ridiculous and out of control, but... I thought it was fun. We'll see Mystery uh, Death Thanos. Oh, Mistress Death Thanos got a thing for her. That's true. Adam Warlock defended Thanos in the Infinity Gauntlet series. Hmm. Maybe they'll refer to Thanos again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, though. I don't know if I can, though. I have a lot to go. I still have to fight all the Robot Masters and all the weapons and whatever else. And... Rucking son of a mother. I'm totally rewinding that. No way. For streaming purposes. <laughs> I forgot to press up on the D-pad like an idiot. Need some Wily Wars. That's a good idea. I gotta play Wily Wars. I wish they'd finish the, um, the Mega Man 4 Wily Wars version. Thanos hates Deadpool because he hooked up with Lady Death. See? That would never work in the movies. They just can't do it. I wouldn't do it. I would love for them to do it. Oh, come on. That should have hit him. Get the fudge out of here. I found out I am not good at Mega Man games. It does take a while to get used to these games, Andy. If, I mean, practice. Use the rewind feature and all that stuff. I think the Legacy Collection games have it. Well, at least uh, 1 through 6 does. The volume 1, I guess. I think it would. It'd be a great way to put Deadpool in an Avengers movie. That's true, too. That's true, too. Hmm. That'd be hilarious. Hmm. da 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 Get him. You have Wily Wars only? Oh, see, you should play the NES versions, Andy. If you don't have the the, the um the legacy collections, I highly recommend you get those. That's where it's at. I should play the Wily Wars though. Pretty sure there's some ROM hacks out there that fix certain things wrong with the original. 
It's Mega Man, so why not? So they have an original character called Deathpool, who is the daughter of Deadpool and Death. Jesus. Would that work, though, in the movies, you think? So, okay, with these stones, my Infinity Gauntlet is complete. It matches my Infinity Boots and Infinity Dress. Now, I've only had an Infinity Date. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Doctor Doom, Thanos, and Darkseid have gone mugged by, but gotten mugged by regular people. <laughs> Hello, BPQ. Did you just wake up, or are you off tonight? Hopefully, you are, because work is sussy. Their best, their best technician ever needs to have a night off. I say. Thank you for the likes. Good to see you, Squirrel Girl. Uh, beat up Than Thanos to a pulp. Oh, really? See, I didn't know that. Pronounce dark side. I would say dark seed. Sorry. Now take off. Gotta get ready for being in public. No! Just put on your infinity cloak and it'll hide you, sir. <laughs> Bye, Corey. See you. See you next time, buddy. I think it's uh, dust power. What's up, Bill? Your likes are greatly appreciated. Always. What's up, E? Ooh, this robot, he's ready to take the beat down. Ouch. Double likes. You're double likes. <laughs> I'll never get over Thanos being defeated by effing Squirrel Girl. <laughs> Is that like a joke in the comics or something? Or why'd they do that? I was off last two nights. Oh, well, they need to give, yeah, they need to give their best tech the night off. That's some sussy nonsense. Got him. Woohoo! Dark Salsa? Yes. <laughs> Dark Salsa. Come on, hurry up. Oh, God. I have to try faster, I think, next time. I'll be able to beat both these games in two hours. She came in with the ability to be unbeatable. Oh, okay. That's what they're doing. Gotcha. Makes sense, I think. Whoa. Lalo, lalo, lols. Lalas, laz, 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 lols. For the lols. E tanks. I'm all for the E tanks, man. People always downplay how powerful Dazzler is. She blew off half of Psylocke's face without trying. Oh, she's in that X Men arcade game where they made Jubilee. Dazzler! Lazlo, yes, Lazlo. Turbo fire attack! Oh, we need a uh, ring power here. Oh my god. I forgot he doesn't pause in place when he throws the ring power. He just keeps running. He's making some uh, pesto spinach something pork chops and something potatoes and I don't know. It's, it smells delicious in my house right now. I can't even describe what it is. But it smells so damn good. 13 to 7, 7 stars to hit the hug goal. La 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 la. Let's hit it 30 he cake so we can keep going all freaking day. His ability to turn sound into light and affects she is her own light show for herself. Oh. Just accepted terms and agreements without reading them? Doesn't everybody do that? People do that all the time when they buy a house, when they buy a car, when they, I mean, I mean, they do it all the time, man. There's nothing new, but you like to read stuff. So I totally understand. He's like, uh, well, it's my job to read paperwork. And, uh, yeah. 
Let's go crawly monster with drills. I was about to call him Drillhead, but I'm the Drillhead. Drill Claw. Come on, what are you doing up there? Get down. When are we getting the last Ronin TMNT movie? Ah! I think we'll get the game before we get the movie, though, right? Oh my god, please don't knock me down there, you son of a biscuit. We're actually going to play Shredder's Revenge tomorrow on the uh, 4 o'clock stream, guys. So, any of you subscribers have it for the Switch, you know the drill. I need turtles, mates. Got him. So, okay, it's spinach, stuffed pork chops, roasted sweet and red potatoes, topped with green onions and sauteed green beans. Yes, that's what it is. I just read 1,300 pages of records this week. I'm done reading. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, you should probably um, be mad that you did what you wrote and signed it. Last Ronin movie would be brutal. I think so, too. Taylor Swift was approached to play Dazzler and X-Men Dark Phoenix, but she declined. She probably dodged a bullet on that one, man. And the fries and frosty, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Got it on PS4. Damn it, Chris! Get it for the Switch! Get it for the Switch, man! And then tomorrow night, I don't know, maybe... I don't know what I'm gonna play tomorrow night. All I know is that next week I have to start playing on um, subscriber games. So if you put in a game request and you haven't put in a day that works best for you for me to play it, subscribers in the subscriber top 10 section, I need you to let me know what day works best during the week for me to play it. Jax is a Taylor Swift. <laughs> she, we certainly don't have the money like her. That'd be great. Nothing else. That's all I'd want. I'm on my way to get some food from you, uh, Mega Man. Keep going, Meggies. Do it. Go, Meggie, go. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prize here, right? That's why I said Queen. If we can just have her money, I'd totally be down for that. Just give me the money, and that's it. Uh, I forgot. Is it the the guy who shoots the red? Uh, he shoots the red Buster things at me. I think. Yeah, this guy. Oh no, it's Cossack. Damn it! Paying attention to who's fighting. Come on, get over here, you goofball. I'm glad this is not Mega Man 5, where it literally resets. What's wrong with Taylor Swift? <laughs> uh, well... Never mind, sir. Yeah. She said, I'm me. Yeah, exactly. Yo, Cossack, you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. She's gonna write songs about her ex many ex-boyfriends. No, don't you! I swear to God, he's gonna kill me right there. Thank you. Hello to the head incoming. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna break you, Mega Man! What's up, Michael? Dr. Wiley, best eyebrows in the world. I can't even do that. I forgot we have all this left of the game. Damn it. Son of a... I gotta go through Wiley's kitchen and bathroom to get to him. 
Dinner smells like it's done? I can't really tell, though. But I don't know. I've started to go into labor today. Doctors were able to stop it. She's only 33 weeks long. Holy crap, dude. That sounds super stressful. I'm doing all right, man. Good to see you're doing better, sir. Oh, you little bet. I bet his barber makes a mint to keep those eyebrows in such iconic shape. I know. Speaking of which, I definitely need a goddamn haircut this weekend. My hair is out of control. Uh, yo, what's up, Tim? Get over there. Ah! I don't need none of that. Just fall, Mega Man. Fall, fall! The ladies love the brows. Thank you, Tim, for the like. I appreciate it, man. Got one stage left in me, guys. Because I think we're just over two hours on the stream as of right now. And I gotta get ready for the subscriber stream. We're gonna play, uh, tonight we're gonna play World War Z. I got a couple of squad mates. I don't know if I'm gonna have four people to join me, though. Or three, three other people to join me. There we go. Go, go, go! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Rush jet, rush jet. hair looks terrible right now. There's nothing handsome about that. My brows are out of control. My mohawk is disgustingly untrimmed. My hair has grown back so much. It's awful. Awful, 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 awful. Awful waffles. The game is like, here's an E-Tank. You might need it. We take out this last robot. Channel streamer, good cook, BFF, committed to one man. That's very true. That's very true. Uh, ring power. Ring pops. Imagine having a piece of candy wrapped around your finger and you just eat your finger. I had to put a, a rating on this. This is probably the most difficult boss in the game. Simply because of how much damage he does. And the fact that he freezes you long enough out of your iframes, that, that happens to you. So, we're gonna run this last boss, guys. I hate this boss so much. Would have died right there. Ring pops as the shiz. I know, I'm serious though. Like, somebody watching you in public just. Just gnawing in your finger like this. <laughs> While you're eating a freaking ring pop. <laughs> oh, shit. Da -da 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 la 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 I should get my hair cut at some point, too. It's not exactly duo Maxwell length, but it is noticeably longer than I usually have it. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely uh longer than Troa Barton's hair. I need to get mine all like it's the call high up. You can see it. It's way too high up. I think what I'll do is, I told Mrs. Blast that I thought about maybe doing my mohawk in red, and it would be appropriate considering we're going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 on Monday, and I could, you know, get my hair shaved and then do like the mohawk piece that What's-His-Face had in the movie where he was, he's whistling and the little thing was flying around and stabbing people. Yondu. I could do that. Who are those names? What names? Oh, that's from Gundam Wing, Mackie. Kiro Yui, Duo Maxwell, Troll Barton, uh, Catra something, I don't remember his name. Uh, Wu Fei is Gundam 05, or Shenlong. Those are all Gundam Wing pilots. Adam's Mary Pop. I'm, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! So I think it'd be kind of cool and appropriate for her to do that for me. But I gotta get my hair trimmed. I gotta get a haircut so bad, so it needs a plan. I've been telling you to get it cut. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, uh all i got guys uh it's just over two hours on the stream duke is the top star let's go let's hit that 30k before the end of the day we're gonna end the stream here guys we're gonna go i'm gonna go get some dinner 
Pachorababa winner. That's his name. I can never remember that dude's name. Pachorababa winner. He's a pretty good voice actor. Yeah, I like that guy. He did, um... Amaro Ray from the original Gundam when they dubbed that into English, which is crazy. I never thought we'd get English dubbed uh, Gundam. OG Gundam. No, RX-78 Gundam. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. For you all coming through on Mega Thursday. Who is he? Is he cool? Yes. Um, I'm going to end the stream here. I'll be back shortly. Subscribers for World War Z. Hopefully I have enough uh, teammates to jump in and play the game with me as well. And uh, we got everybody here. So um, Duke is a top star. Appreciate you guys for being here. See all you subscribers soon. Everyone else, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. I'm um, still deciding on when we're going to do the actual Fries and Frosty, whether it's going to be on the Turtle stream. Probably not because Mrs. Blast has to go to Wendy's, then come home and set up. And, uh, we might do it on the sub stream. So um, we'll let you guys know how that goes. So. And it wasn't his real name. That's true. Combo That's true. Tro it wasn't Troa's real name, and it wasn't Hiro Yui's real name either. It was his name is Odin Lo Jr. And I did know my sister told me that she read the manga. So anyway, you guys have a good one, subscribers. I'll see you all very soon. Everyone else, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern. And uh, everyone have a great night, and I'll see you soon. Peace.